All right. Hi, I'm Scott Leskowski with the uh, LEI products, and uh, we're here in Richmond showing the BioBurner. Piece of equipment behind me is a representative uh, piece that we're working on for small entrepreneurial guys where they will be able to produce their own locally um, processed biomass fuels, tree services, things like that, where it comes through not ready to use. We're trying to give put tools in the hands of small entrepreneurs where they can convert that into something usable. So here we've got a small screener. Uh, this one will be able to produce about a ton. We're going to make it a little bit, a ton an hour. We'll make it a little bigger so a bucket loader can go on it. But be able to convert your trees into something usable. Uh, you can go to your sawmills pickup. Here you can see we'd screened it out. This was uh, stuff the show provided. It had some big wafers and chips in it, but we screened it out before the show started and makes a nice uniform product. But that's what's missing in this side of the market is the ability to convert local fuels from sawmills and from tree services into something usable. So we're working on that package right now where you can dry it and screen it both on a very small scale. And that's what we'll use to uh, work with the burners. We'll go over there next. All right, we're over here at our demo display. It's a portable unit that we've carried here to Richmond. This is our BB500. It's got a couple heat exchangers on it. We've got a seven foot bin ring type tank on the back that we're feeding the chips that we screened out over here. But we believe this is the next round of uh, technology that's going to make biomass viable for the small guy. On from small, the domestic homes, small commercial, small industrial, on through things like greenhouses and small schools and facilities like that. It's been a missing piece in the market where you could actually use locally produced biomass fuels from tree services and things like that. Quit dumping it in the landfills. Let's use it locally. Let's create jobs producing it. Let's uh, make some money selling it instead of dumping it, and let's let the end user make some money or save money by using it as well. So we believe there's a package to be had here. We know it's a chicken egg thing. The, you got to make the biomass. Nobody's making biomass because nobody's got a burner to burn it. So we're trying to bring both out at the same time right now. This is a great example of what's happening. 500,000 BTUs. We're burning chips that were dropped in a parking lot soaking wet here two days ago and it's as cheap and clean a fuel as you can get. Again, you can see no emissions, no visible. You're gonna find that the CO's under 100, the NOx is under 100. It's a very environmentally friendly product. And it's already been through the test labs. It's good to go. So now we believe over time, this will be the technology of the future. People can use This video was made by a joint effort of North Carolina State University Wood Products Extension and the Wood Education Center of Princeton, West Virginia. Harry Watt is the project coordinator. North Carolina State does not discriminate in its hiring and educational outreach efforts. Anyone who would like to contact the university can do so at campus headquarters in Raleigh. The Wood Education Resource Center of Princeton, West Virginia does not discriminate its hiring practices and educational outreach. Anyone who would like to uh, file a complaint can do so by calling 202-720-5964.